this is Sandeep and uh, today you will see that how you can install Windows 11 uh, by using the UTM application onto your you know Macintosh computer or laptop with M1 silicon so what do you need here you need first of all the UTM application that you can download from uh, the video description there's a link on it and another thing that you required is Windows 11 VHDX file so this is uh, you know a preview build preview version that I've downloaded so it's available in the description of the link of this video so let's start here so you need to just bring up your UTM application all right open it up all right now you have certain options here create a new virtual machine so I'll use this option click on it select the option virtualize and click on it now you have certain options Mac OS Windows Linux and so I'll go with the Windows now here install Windows 10 or I higher and import VHDX image so I just checked on it make sure this is also checked install drivers and spice tools and click browse give it the uh, provide the path uh, I have on my desktop so I'll check here this is the one open all right so now you can see here the part continue hardware you know details by default continue and uh, share directory path so I'll choose uh, the download folder from here and open up all right now it's downloads continue I'll rename it window Windows 11 save saving settings all right here it is status stopped and architecture is ARM64 all right this is the machine for memory is 4 GB 10 GB of size all right share directory is this cool click on this button play it's loading starting services so the virtual machine may reboot one or twice during this uh, process yeah something is processing all right looks it's rebooted once all right just a moment starting up hmm okay let me just maximize it um i think let's set up first yes this time just press uh we need to bypass this option for the network so press function key shift and f10 and you will see the command prompt with admin will open at your screen follow this command and type it there hit enter and it will restart the machine so let's wait for it PC guide for you is here to help you with your issues for more updates subscribe now starting up all right so let's do again country region yes and all right the keyboard layout skip this one and here I don't have internet click on this all right so connect uh, just click on connect continue with the limited setup for now license agreement yep accept it type the name username
enter password I required or I just keep the password um, I used to just turn off this not required as of now accept it now setting up your machine will take a few minutes all right so it's done now and uh, it is installed successfully install new build version of windows okay i'll do it later um yeah the windows 11 is here now um so let me just expand so okay go to here and let's see what is in it see a drive we have a drive here let's see what is in it drivers okay um okay i'll go back here yeah that is the one spice guest too so just install it okay it's completed just click on reboot now just finish it it will restart your virtual machine and this time it will come up with the full screen mode because uh, hopefully the drivers have been installed uh, by using the spice tool so let's wait for it to come up all right screen is bigger now user is logged in okay i'll do it later now you can see the drivers you know have been installed um and now the screen is in good shape so here it is a full screen ah uh, yeah that is the way you can easily install you know windows 11 to your uh, macbook m1 systems by using that utm virtual machine application tool and uh, i've been looking for you know while and uh, somehow i just found it and it is very good looking very good and uh, i think it should work i would recommend you guys to try however we do have parallel uh, you know desktop available for you know such installations for windows 11 that you might need to spend some on that but i'll give it a try with work for your team first and I, I will you know show you that it will be useful to you Thank you so much guys, you have a wonderful day, bye bye.